The Bible really does say bats are birds, but we all know they're mammals, so how do we reconcile this seeming scientific inaccuracy in what we call the inspired word of God? <laughs> this is the bathrobe blog, which is really a vlog, but I like alliteration, so I choose to say it wrong. In Leviticus chapter 11, verses 13 through 19, God gives the Israelites a list of birds which are inappropriate to eat. He finishes that list with the word and bats. And so we've got an issue here because bats are mammals, not birds. We know that we don't classify them as fowl, but as mammals. It turns out that there's some missing information that we need to understand why the Bible here says bats are birds. The word used in the Hebrew that is translated in English as birds is the word auf which you know sounds like something you'd say when you stub your toe, but it turns out it's a word meaning not exactly birds, but things that fly. That's right, not only birds, but flying mammals or even flying insects are included in this category of auf. So when the Bible says that bats are auf, it is in fact correct. We simply lack a word in the English to be translated easily to that says things that fly. In fact, some translations, I think it's the English Standard Version that translates it as things that fly to help clarify that issue. Maybe birds isn't the best translation, but there's certainly no error in the manuscripts originally when it comes to the identification of bats as things that fly. Now I have a question for you who are Bible critics who are watching my video right now. You might have a list of you know criticisms against the Bible, things that you think the Bible gets wrong. I'm very much curious, not just to know your list, but to know something about it. Have you vetted your list? Have you been critical of your criticisms? Have you been skeptical of your skepticism? That is, have you asked yourself, the things which I say, the Bible does this, the Bible says this, let's say the Bible encourages human sacrifice. Have you examined to see if that's the case? To say the Bible encourages cannibalism. Have you examined the passage to see if that's in fact the case? because so many of the Bible criticisms that we hear are cleared up with just a little bit of looking at the passage, and so many more are cleared up by a little bit of actual hard work and study. Have you done the study? Have you done the work? Or are you taking things out of context or maybe just taking things for granted? You heard the amazing atheist say it, so it must be true. You heard another YouTube video put it out there, so it must be the case. And for you Christians, have you been challenged with things you didn't know how to answer that maybe you think I should make a video about? Maybe things you do know how to answer now, but at the time it had confused you and you'd like to maybe just share it with me, I'd love to hear it in the comment section below or in a private message to me. I try to answer as many comments as possible and I don't care if they are agreeing comments or disagreeing comments, as long as they're family friendly. Cause if they're not, I will hunt them down and destroy them. The Bathrobe blog is my musings on all things related to a Christian worldview. I'd love your input and video ideas for the future. Thanks a bunch.